Don't always do what I should I'd be better if I thought I could I'm a sucker for adrenaline Every villain is Everybody trying to change my ways But I live just to see you break I'm a sucker for adrenaline Well, just got loaded up in the truck here and heading to the airport. Dad and I are off to Maine. Gonna get into Portland, and then we're hunting Bailey Island, which is about an hour north. Um, gonna be going after some sea ducks, hopefully old squaw, and some white winged scoters, common eiders, and see what else we get into. Uh, I'm gonna be going with Emily and Lance Robinson, who run Goose Haven and Safari River in Saskatchewan. Happy gonna be able to get with those those two in Maine, and Lance does sea ducks hunt. In, in the winter over there so this all works out to get over and I've got a few sea ducks after Gold Bay and Kodiak to get some odds and some good weather to be able to get those on the coast of Maine. This is a, one of our favorite morning spots. It's really home run for the uh, for eiders. Um, I'm gonna set up two stringers, a, uh, a dozen decoys, and a couple spinners, and uh, hopefully they'll work work nice for us this morning. All right. So are we good to start walking towards? You the are, but take okay. your time. Yeah. Um, there's a couple little, you know, crevasses in there yeah, as yeah. you come over the top. As far north as I've been, sea duck hunting. First time ever setting up on a rock island like this which is pretty cool he's set up so far the way lance describes it these eiders and old squad and stuff are just going to kind of scoot the shoreline here we're really about man, not even a quarter mile from mainland here so I'm pretty excited to see when the sun starts going up here what these ducks are going to do i get the feeling this is a pretty nice morning out here Yes, probably the calm morning. Just got set up on the Rock Island Point here. Lance just got the decoy string set up and there are sea ducks everywhere. Old squaws, eiders, scoters, you name it. Tide's gonna continually go up, so we're gonna backtrack up this rock here as the morning goes along. And because this is the far point out, you get a ton of eiders and old squaw that just hug this point. We've already had a couple since we've been set up that have landed in the decoys. It's supposed to get nasty later today, but this morning's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. I mean, sunrise coming right now. behind them. That's a Drake Eider. Drake Eider. Well, Lance is just doing the first pickup here. I know I've got a Drake Eider down, which is what we really came for, and it's pretty awesome. I think we've got a Hen Eider and then a couple of Scoters down also. It's been a pretty productive morning and it's only been shooting for about 30 minutes so far. We keep backing up off this rock as the tide keeps rising. Just putting the decoys out a little farther but there's a ton of birds flying so it's just picking the right ones that are close. Oh that's right.
Oh. Gorgeous common eider drake. We were set up over there and for some reason these birds flared and came over the backside of the rock, so spun and made a good shot on them. And hunting this coast of Maine is awesome. We've been covered in sea ducks all morning. Oh, settle. Well, we continue to move back up the rocks here as the tide continues to come in. Lance keeps coming out, adjusting the decoys, moving them in closer to us. We had a big volley of action with eiders and old squaws early. We've seen a couple scoters around, so we're just going to give it a little bit. There's a storm coming this afternoon. We've got a couple birds left for our limit. Let them go, they're all hens. Two more, two more. That was a white wing. I had one shell, I had one shell. Well, just wrapped up a heck of a morning here. First morning in Maine, got a white wing scoter, which is kind of an odd one. You're always looking for the three different species of scoters and the white wing's been the toughest so far. Got a white wing, uh, awesome drake eider, and then awesome drake old squaw. So it's been a heck of a morning, but later this afternoon, there's a big storm rolling in and the tide's going up right now. So we're gonna boogie out of here and we'll probably hunt a back bay this afternoon, something where the weather's gonna be nasty and we're gonna tuck in. Oh, we had a heck of a morning out. First morning in Maine. Got a pair of common eiders right here, old squaw, white wings. Man, it was pretty amazing getting out on the rocks there and having the birds come in and out. Lance was right in the right spot. The storm moved in fast and was worse than we all expected. We decided to stay in for the afternoon in hopes that the birds would seek refuge in the protected bays off the coast where we will start hunting in the morning. Solid enough. Another 
better than sitting in the rain. Relaxation is a breakthrough. If pain or is too. Thoughts of dying in the gutter. They don't bother me no more. And the river started talking. birds up. That was a bigger group though. There were four of them. Yeah, there was six to eight flying. Well, we had a nasty storm that came through last night, knocked out power and trees all over the road and stuff. So we tucked back up on one of these little coastal islands looking for a black duck or something like that today just to stay out of the wind and the weather. There's this old, old duck blind that Lance had built back when he was a teenager. Um, still standing, still strong, so we're tucking in here because it's supposed to rain later today. It's a pretty sweet setup. Tide's low right now, so all the decoys are pretty far off. We've seen a couple divers going back and forth, some geese working, but nothing in close. It's the problem. It is tough here with the tides, and there's just not a lot of moving, so it's going to get nasty today. Birds are probably going to hunker down, so it could be slow. This is a good area just to get out of the weather. No luck at the duck line. Weather just turned on us again, so we boogied out of there getting the boat loaded up. Today the weather's gonna force us not to do what we really want to, but we're still gonna get the world. Oh, just getting everything loaded up here. Wind is howling, but the good news is it's not gonna be raining today. But with the wind, we don't know if we're gonna be able to get to the rock point we really want to. So we may do a setup off the boat and do a couple stringers off the back. We're gonna see once we get out in the bay. You can hear it's, uh, it's whipping pretty good. And that's one of the things about sea duck hunting is when the wind gets really bad like this, you can't get out in the ocean where you really wanna go. We just got the boat dropped in the water. We knew it was going to be windy today, but, and it is cranking even in the protected bay here, so there's no way we're going to be able to get out on the ocean. So our plan is we're just going to head, there's a little island here, there should be some protection off the backside. We're going to run a couple stringer decoys off the back and just do that this morning. There's a chance the wind will break later, but not a good one. So this will probably be our setup today. Hopefully we can catch some old squaw. Maybe a couple of scoters cruising by this morning. Good news is it's not raining. Oh, Lance is just getting the first string of decoys in here. We'll be ready to go in about five minutes. We've seen a bunch of ducks whizzing past already. A lot of old squaw and some scoters. So, crazy windy as you can tell in the boat here, but it has the shapings to be a pretty decent first couple hours. So Lance just got the two stringers decoy set and right now he's dropping the anchor which should spin this boat around and have us facing right in the front, right down the center of the pike here and we've had ducks flying non-stop since we've been here so should be action coming pretty quick. Coming from the left, coming from the left. Moving fast they are. Oh, yeah. 
yes, yes. Hey. I think I got three down. Oh, that boy's a gorgeous one. Look at the color on that boy. It's an absolute gorgeous long tail duck right there, old squaw. I mean, peak color. Woo. Just did a duck pickup, getting set back up in position, but holy smokes, old squaws and eiders and surf scoter, just been an absolute awesome morning so far. Came up the backside. Nice shot, Dad. Coming left, coming left. Oh, Mister. Oh, Dad, this is a gorgeous drake too. Oh. Look at the color on that one. Holy smokes. Yeah. Absolute gorgeous old squaw right here. Well, Lance has had it set up perfectly today. We've been drifting right in between the two decoy lines here. You know, old Squaw has just been humming past, had a couple of scoters and ipers so far. Definitely choppy, wouldn't want to be out in the ocean today, but this bay hunt right here, I mean, they're right in the, the corridor and it's been going great this morning. I was just wrapped up an absolute awesome trip in Maine. Awesome morning this morning. Old Squaw, Surf Scoters, Eiders, you name it. Capped it off with a uh, black duck. Pretty sweet. This has been an amazing trip. Lance and Emily know how to do it. I'm gonna move on to the next spot on the list, but man, sea duck hunting in Maine, it doesn't get much better than that. This trip was everything I could have hoped for. The setting alone that this place provides was enough to make me feel like I was in a dream. The tall cliffs, the sound of the surf crashing against the rocks, elevated this hunt to an experience that most would look for once in a lifetime. I can already tell that this one will stand out in my mind more than most. And to share such an experience with my dad just makes it that much more special to me. These are the days we dream of as hunters. Too young at heart to ever get old.